Hi, Gary Smith here. One of the questions I'm most often asked about Salesforce reports is, how did we apply that green highlighting? In other words, how did we put some color shading on a report so that the eye is immediately drawn to the key information in the report? Here's an example. This report shows the sales pipeline split by individual account and by close date across the top of the report. And we can immediately see, for example, that Athena Home Products has pipeline due to close in February and in July. Same with these other accounts. United Oil and Gas, for example, has pipeline due to close in each of these sequential months. So the shading, the conditional highlighting, immediately draws the eye to the key information in the report. Let me just take that conditional highlighting off. I'll show you how to put it on in just a second, but let me just take it off for the time being and you will see that the report is much much more difficult to read particularly this applies to really any report where you have a lot of zeros in the report you really want to draw the eye to the key information in the report in in this case the key information is really any value greater than one so let me just save that in that format and I'll show you now how to put that green shading onto the report so to do that we click on customize and it's perhaps less than immediately obvious but we need to click on this down arrow here next to the word show so we click on the down arrow there and we can select conditional highlighting now the only value that we have in the report is the opportunity amount so we can select that from the pick list on the left hand side and if I wanted I could select different parameters for red amber and green and so on I'm not going to do that in this report. I really just want to highlight any value that's uh, that's one or more. So to do that, I'll type the number one into that box, and I'm going to leave this box blank. But I don't want to include red and amber on the report. So I'm going to select the in the color picker here. I'm going to select set those to show no color. Same with that one. And I'm going to leave any value of one or more. I'm going to leave it green. I could choose a different color they're all fairly sort of garish colors but let's leave it at that uh, green color for now I'll just click on OK and in the preview pane we can immediately see what's going to happen let's run the report and there you go there's the green highlighting the conditional highlighting that immediately draws the eye to the key information in the report so that's it thanks for watching have a great day